Hey guys, it's Ross Scott, and on the Space Catch today, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this the Jakku Land uh, Speeder, the Black Suit. Picked this up from Forbidden Planet ages ago and completely forgot that I had it. So let's just bring it out. 99p it was reduced to from 199 they've been selling it for, but I'm sure I've seen it in Toys R Us for 6.99, which is a bit overpriced considering the size of it. So let's have a close look at it there before I take its tags off. Yeah, that looks very nice, very good detailing there. So let's just free the vehicle. As always, paranoid about damaging it. There we go. So, let's bring it up closer. Yes, very nice. You do actually see this vehicle in The Force Awakens. The scene where Rey uh, arrives at Nima Outpost in the morning with BB-8. And what is it? She says, he could still uh, come back for you, whoever it is you're looking for, and she talks about her family. This is going past in the background at that point, and I think it turns up again later, possibly where the two stormtroopers are talking to two of the inhabitants, and then they see uh, Finn and Ray. I think, I'm not sure it's that point, but you do see it a couple of times. Yes, this is very, very nice, and for 99p, it's great. I wouldn't pay any more for it. So there you go. Very battered, of course, given that harsh climate that they have in Jakku. I was reading uh, one of the visual guides or complete locations. Jakku used to be a very pleasant, temperate world, but some calamity in the distant past caused it to um, become the arid desert that we see now. And I suspect that giant crater that you see on the surface of Jakku uh, when Kylo Ren's shuttle is leaving the planet going up to the Superstar Destroyer, you see it. And then when Finn and Rey are escaping the Falcon uh, from Jakku, you see it there as well. Could be something to do with that. Or maybe that's just from the Battle of Jakku, which hopefully we shall find out in um, Empire's End, the third part of the Aftermath trilogy. Uh, the first one I'm reading, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it, by the way. I haven't had any issues with the writing style so far, which a lot of people have complained about. But anyway, let's just pop it on its stand. It has a stand, which also has ties. Ooh. One more. There. So, let's pop it on. Yeah. How's that? No. There, very nice. Spin it round. Yeah, for a pound, very happy with this. They also used to have the scimitar, you know, the Sith infiltrator ship, uh, uh, snow speeder, uh, a bunch of other things, which I would have liked to have gotten, but they were a bit overpriced. They weren't reduced to a pound. So anyway, guys, that is just my quick unboxing and review of the Jakku Land Speeder, a fantastic bargain, absolutely, and definitely worth it for a pound. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for what coming topic you'd like to see discussed. I like the video.